Hello Frenetics, this is Chema Molina and today I'm going to talk about one of the last publications in Planar Transformers and uh, this publication is from uh, Yu, uh, Yu Chen Liu from the uh, National University of Taiwan and he is talking about a topic that uh, is very interesting about high power density transformers, planar transformers in LLC resonant converters. Are all the publications in this topic are around one kilowatt, in this case it's 800 watt, and uh, are running at the switching frequency of one megahertz from uh, with an input voltage of 380 volts and an output voltage of 12 volts. With a power density of 55 watts, this is crazy. I mean, it's very, very good. But before going into detail in this publication, I am going to review the state of the art because the first publication in this topic was from what well, at least the one that I know I consider as a reference it was from Fred Lee in um, in 2014 uh, with the matrix transformer. But in the first uh, work that uh, Professor um, Fred Lee and his students uh, published, uh, they analyzed the problem of trying to have a lot of uh, switches in parallel to reduce the loss, the conduction losses in the secondary side of the 12 volts, that is a very low uh, output voltage, but there is a lot of current. And they find that when they try to put on all the switches in parallel, there is a, a lot of problems of current setting because of the leakage inductance between these connections, especially at one megahertz. Then they find, they propose this structure where they have uh, four, instead of one transformer with several outputs in parallel, they have one, uh, I mean, four transformers with four primaries in series and four secondaries in parallel. Then with this idea, they work a lot trying to find uh, how to cancel the flats and reduce the core losses. And uh, well, the solution they get, this you can see an UE core, um, they implement the solution doing all the analysis and here is the final uh, the final approach with a very, very high power density and efficiency. Four years later, uh, the same team uh, published, uh, published this uh, article where they saw even a higher power density. Um, and the, what the main difference is that in this case, they try to put uh, to reduce even more the 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 flats uh, the flats density, I mean, doing some cancellations, and they try to have the in the core changing the core structure from the previous one here to four legs case. Here you will see uh, these four four legs doing this kind of a square where they are able to cancel the flats uh, in the middle and reducing the core losses. Here you can see the final simulation where even in the same PCB, they integrate the secondary resonant, um, I mean, sorry, resonant, the switch, uh, the rectifiers, the MOSFETs and the, and the capacitors doing a very high power density integration. Well, and uh, in the paper that we are going to talk today, uh, the professor Yu Chen Li and his team in the University, National University of Taiwan, what they propose different from the previous uh, cases that we have shown here is that they talk about half turns. Uh, this is a kind of converters that they have a high turn ratio of 16 to one. Then uh, in the primary you have 16 turns and usually in the secondary you can have one or two or depending of, of, of your tune rate you decided but uh, what they propose is what if we reduce the instead of putting one full turn in secondary that there is a lot of current we just put half turn then you can see here and they demonstrate that they are able to get the same result uh, that if you have a full turn but if you have half turn, you will have half uh, losses, conduction losses. Then it's a very good uh, approach. 
here they use uh, UE core with this kind of shape for, for the approach. Instead of four legs, they just use these two legs. And here is the, the difference between the, the comparison with the matrix transformer of Professor Lee, that they have 16 turns in primary and one in secondary. Then this, uh, in this professor, they used 16 turns in primary and 0 0.5 turns in secondary. Then after the, the, the analysis that they saw here, uh, they start doing here all the explanation about how to, to make the half turns. And then finally, they have to make the half turn and go out from one of the left sides. Then at the end, there is like, after the, the, the layout, have um, B out in all the excess. Here is the explanation of the functionality. And here is one of the most interesting parts. Because in this part, uh, the, 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 the author analyzed the uh, peak flux density here. They say, well, they don't want the flux density to exceed 100 millitesla. And then they analyze how to do it because they are going to work in a one megahertz. Uh, then they uh, talk about using the Hitachi's material ML91S uh, and doing the calculations. This is a peak uh, of 74 millitesla. Then they made the calculations, the analysis, the simulation, but after doing the simulation, they realized that the losses are night bats because the expected, uh, the expected, the, the simulation results is that they are exceeding the 100 millitesla. Then they have to make some calculation for changing the core area, I mean, this, uh, this area of the cross section of the leg, and then they are able to get um, the 3.7 watts because they reduce the losses changing the, uh, the, the area. Well, they also made a very analysis, very theoretical analysis for having a very low uh, EC resistance that uh, they made also simulation with Maxwell, and they saw the results here. They prepared a prototype that is uh, tested, and this is the efficiency res results. And finally, they put this table, very interesting because here you can see the different solutions for the same, more or less same amount of power of uh, one kilowatt, 300 watts of the different transformer ideas, matrix, split, uh, flats, and this UE with fractional turns. We can see that they are the ones obtaining higher power density, but uh, not the maximum peak uh, efficiency. Actually, this is not a maximum power. We can see here that the a maximum power, they are 94% um, close to 94. And later they made a very interesting table too, where they saw the comparison between the transformers. I mean, the, exactly the transformer for, for each solution and the core losses of each case, which is, is very interesting to be analyzed. Uh, in detail for the magnetic experts. Then that's all. Uh, if you want to read this in detail, download the articles from your institution. If not, also I have wrote an article uh, that I'm writing here. The, I put in here the link. And thank you very much and uh, have a good day.